Recently, I decided to try my hand at making my own old-timey wheels. I started by making a 3D model in Rhino. The wheel will be about 6 inches in diameter and will be super wide at 3 inches. I originally intended these wheels to be for a cart for the foundry furnace. I intended to have a two-in-one wheel pattern. If I wanted super wide wheels, I could use the pieces as a split pattern. If I just wanted wheels that were about an inch and a half, I could simply use half the pattern. Once I had the 3D model, I just needed to generate tool paths and cut it out on my CNC. The wood I'm using is one and a half inch thick poplar and is a nice dense wood for routing something like this. To be able to sand both sides in relation to each other, I needed to temporarily glue them together. Here I am using Super 77. Once all the sanding was done, I could re-split the pattern. I used a few coats of polyurethane to seal the surface. To find the center of any circle, you can draw an arbitrary line across the circle. Divide the line in half and draw a perpendicular line towards the center. Do this as many times as necessary until you feel confident that you found the center. Here I am using sodium silicate sand for the mold. I am hoping for a nice texture on the inside of the wheel to add to that old timey flavor. After a few sodium silicate casts, I have found that actual mold release works better than talc for keeping the pattern from sticking to the mold.
The texture of sodium silicate sand is a bit like mashed potatoes. I am adding screws here to help support the deep mold cavities. Here I am flash curing the mold with some CO2. This penetrates about an inch and gives at least a little bit of strength to the mold. Here I'll be using talc on the parting line and I probably should have left a little bit more as it ended up sticking a bit. The best thing about sodium silicate sand is how forgiving it is. Small areas can be patched before the sand cures. Here I'll cut the gates and runners. And now I'll melt some aluminum. Here I'm degassing and removing the dross. See how it turned out. Here you can see the old timey texture that I was hoping for. I'll just need to cut off the gates and trim the parting lines.
I am using a bit of masking tape to keep the overspray to a minimum. I'll end up sanding the lip to get a crisp line. Aluminum primer will etch the surface and help the paint bond to the aluminum. Here are the finished wheels. I don't know what I'll do with them yet, but I think they turned out great. Oh, and by the way, a friend told me you can't call it a deep dish wheel unless you can fit a dollar on the lip.